गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज मंदीप कर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल होप ऑल ऑफ यूर फाइन नॉ लेट्स टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर डूइंग द रिविजन ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज नंबर सिस्टम एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम दैट इज द फेस वैल्यू एंड प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ अ नंबर हाउ कैन वी फाइंड द फेस वैल्यू एंड प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ अ नंबर let us take one example that you can understand it easily in which you can find out the face value and the place value of that particular number so let us suppose we have a number here is 3 4 5 6 7 and we have to find its face value and place value of every digit so let's start from here if we have to find the face value and place value of 7 we have to find the face value and place value of digit 7 so i am going to write here the face value and here is place value place value the face value is the digit itself always the face value is the digit itself if we are going to find out the face value of 7 then the its face value is 7 that means the digit itself if we are going to find out the face value of 6 that means Six is its face value, the digit itself. Face value of seven is seven. Face value of six is six. Face value of five is five. Face value of four is four, and face value of three is three. So let's start from here. The face value of seven is seven. And what is its place value? What is its place value? Now seven is at one's place. Seven is at one's place. Here is one's place, tens place. Hundred place, thousand place, ten thousand place. So seven is at which position? That is ones place. Ones place. That means it can be written as seven into one because it is on ones place. So seven into one that is seven. So its face value of seven is seven. Place value is also seven. Now for the sixth one, if we have to find out. the face value of 6 and place value of 6 now face value is 6 itself now what is its place value now 6 multiply now look at here 6 is at which position here is ones place here is tens place at tens place so 6 multiply tens tens place that means multiplied with the 10 so it becomes 60 so the face value of 6 is 6 and its place value is 60 after that what is the face value of 5 and its place value so face value is 5 now what is its place value its place value is 5 multiply now 5 is at what's place here is ones place tens place at 100 place that is at 100 place that means 5 multiply 100 that becomes 500 now after that is 4 face value of 4 is 4 now what is its place value Now four multiply. Now four is at which place? Here is ones, tens, hundred. That is on thousand place. That means multiplied with the thousand. That becomes four thousand. After that three, the face value is three. Now what is its place value? Now three multiply. Now three is at ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousand place. That is on ten thousand place. So multiplied with the ten thousand. so it becomes 30000 now one more thing you can remember in this way and you can remember in this way also i'm going to repeat this one the face value of 7 that is at last place so its place value remains same 7 when you will find the face value and place value of 6 now 6 is at second place from this one so 6 how many digits are there after the six how many digit there only when one digit is there so write here 10 10 after the six you have to write 10 10 after that is 5 5 how many digits are there after 5 how many digit two digits are there so 5 write here two zeros now here is 4 here is 4 how many digit are there after 4 1 2 3 so its face value becomes 4 and you have to write three zeros after four similarly for the three how many digits there one two three four four digits are there that means you have to write down the four zeros after three 
So three here is one, two, three, four, zero. That is the shortcut way to remember in which way we can write down the face value and place value. Let us take one more example that you can understand it easily in which way we can write down the face value and place values. Okay. Now in your worksheet, the question is write the face value and place value of each or digits we have to write down the face value and place value of only odd digits and the number given is we have three two three five three two three five seven five seven five eight nine six now we have to write down its face value and place value but only odd digits odd digits so firstly mark the odd digits here 6 is an even number 9 is odd 8 is even 5 is odd 7 is odd 5 is odd 3 is odd 3 is odd that means we have to write down only the face value and place values of only that underlying digits so i am going to write here the face value and here the place value place value so let's start from you can start it from the front or you can start it from the last also it's up to you now, if I'm going to start from the last, 6 is even, we have to write down only odd digits. So, let's start from 9. From 9. Face value of 9 is 9. Now, what is its place value? You just have to see how many digits are there after 9. Only one digit is there. Only one digit is there. That means you have to write 1, 0 after 9. That becomes 90. So, the face value is 9 and its place value is 90. After that, 8 is even. Now, 5 is odd. Now, face value of 5 is 5. The number itself. The digit itself. Now, what is its face value? 5. How many digits are there after 5? That is 1, 2, 3. That means, write 3 zeros after 5. Okay. Now, after that is 7. 7 is also an odd number. Clear? Now, face value is 7. What is place value? How many digits after 5? 1, 2, 3, 4. Write 4 zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4. After that is Again 5, so write here 5. Its place value, how many digits are there after 5? This one 5. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Write 5 zeros here. Okay, after that is that 3. Now, how many zero? Sorry, how many digits are there after 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, that number is 3, 3 is odd number again and count how many numbers how many digits are there after 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so write 8 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is the face value and place value of only odd digits are there now come to the next question of this worksheet Okay, now the next one is write the following in expanded form. We have to write the numbers. We have given a number and we have to write them in expanded form. Expanded form. And we have a number 375086. 375086. 086. We have to write the number in expanded form. In expanded form, you just have to use the place value and write them in form of addition so you can start from the last or you can start from the first it's up to you now i'm going to start from the first now the face value of three is three but we have to write down its place value when we are going to write a number in expanded form you just have to write down its place values now the place value of three is right here three how many digits are there after three one two three four five so right here five zeros one two three four five after that Write the symbol addition. In expanded form, you always use the addition symbol. After that is 7. How many digits are there after 7? 1, 2, 3, 4. Write here 4 zeros. After that is 5. How many digits are there? 1, 2, 3. After 5, count the digit. 3. So write 3 zeros here. After that is 0. Now keep it in mind. 
द फेस वैल्यू एंड प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो ऑलवेज रिमेन्स जीरो फेस वैल्यू एंड प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो ऑलवेज रिमेन्स जीरो सो यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट हेयर जीरो आफ्टर दैट इज एट आफ्टर दैट इज एट सो राइट हेयर एट हाउ मेनी डिजिट आफ्टर एट दैट इज ओनली वन सिक्स सो राइट हेयर एटी एंड आफ्टर दैट इज सिक्स आफ्टर दैट इज सिक्स बिकॉज द फेस वैल्यू ऑफ सिक्स इज सिक्स एंड इट्स फेस वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो सिक्स दैट मीन सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई वन दैट इज सिक्स सो दैट इज द एक्सपैंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ दिस नंबर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक वेदर दिस इज करेक्ट और नॉट यू जस्ट हैव टू एड दिस नंबर एंड यू कैन गेट दिस नंबर ओके नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वर्कशीट ओके नाउ Now the next question is how many numbers are there between the following numbers two fifty six and three twenty five. Now, whenever you have to find the numbers between any two numbers between any two numbers, how many numbers we have to find how many numbers are there between these two numbers. So just have you just have to use the formula greatest number greatest number minus smaller number minus 1 always use this formula when you have to find how many numbers are there between two numbers greatest number minus smaller always take here minus 1 so put the value what is the greatest number 256 or 325 325 so write here 325 minus the smallest number is 256 and write here always minus 1 now here is 325 Minus minus plus, but we always take the negative symbol because two fifty six is greater as comparative to one. So we will use this symbol. So here is two fifty six plus, and that is two fifty seven. Now when you will subtract both these ones, and you will get the answer sixty eight. You will get the answer sixty eight. That means between these two numbers, how many numbers are there? Sixty eight numbers are there. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay, now come to the next question. How many numbers are there of a three-digit number? Of a three-digit number. Now, in your worksheet, there are the numerous questions related to this one. But here, maybe of five-digit number, maybe of seven-digit number, maybe of six-digit number. We have to find how many numbers are there of three digit. It may be four digit. It may be five digit. So, firstly, I am going to explain how many numbers are there of a three-digit number. So. In which way we have to find this the number? Firstly, write down here is three digit. So write down the greatest three digit number. Greatest three digit number. Three digit number. Now what is the greatest three digit number? That is triple nine. That is the greatest three digit number. Triple nine. After that, write the smallest three digit number. Smallest three digit number. Now, what is the smallest three-digit number? That is hundred. That is hundred. After that, we have to find how many numbers are there. So, total numbers. How many numbers are there? In which way we can find? Firstly, greatest number, greatest number minus smallest, smallest number plus one, plus one. Here we have to use this formula. when we have to find three digit four digit five digit if in question you have here four digit number you have to find how many numbers are there of a four digit number so you have to write greatest four digit number here after the smallest four digit number here and use the formula greatest number minus smallest and always take here plus 1 now put the value greatest number is 99 minus smallest is 100 and here is plus 1 Now subtract that is eight ninety nine and here is plus one and you will get answer nine hundred. That means how many numbers are there in three digit number? That is nine hundred. I'm going to explain this again. If here is five digit number, let us suppose you have a question that you how many numbers are there of five digit number. So write greatest five digit number here. Write greatest five digit number. After that, smallest five digit number. After that, greatest minus smallest and plus one, and you can easily get the all the answer. Hope so that all of you have been clear about in which way we have to solve all these question. Now for tomorrow, we will discuss a 
next worksheet of this chapter thank you so much everyone